Marcus is home. Good morning, you people. So I know those phones are not out right now. Okay. Yes. Donkey shake. Yes, to you too, right? Okay. So. All right, and for you right there, okay. Now, parlez-vous français? This we la juvie? Yeah. Okay, so good. We. Yeah. Now put the phone away. All right. All right. The table below lists several values of a function y equals f of x that is continuous on the interval from zero to four. Is it including zero and four? Yes. 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 Brackets say yes. Approximate the derivative of f at two. Now. Okay, we don't have an equation here, so we can't go through and do our steps to find that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple things that we could do for this. So since we're trying to find it at 2, and we know that derivative is just what? Slope. If we paid attention to the warm-up, derivative is the? Slope. So it is the? Slope. That I'm looking for. So we need to find the? Slope. So whenever you see something like this, you're going to find the slope. Thank you. Man. OK, so we're trying to find the slope. So I'm going to do a couple things first. First, I'm going to start like this. I'm going to do here to here. So there to there. So let's find the slope there. Because 2 is including it here, right? And I'm going to show you, show you how, to, how to adjust this. All right, so if I'm finding the slope in between those, it's going to be, come on now. 2 minus. Try again. 3 minus 12? No. 12 minus, I don't know. 12 minus. <laughs> 2. 3. 3. 3. What? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, what's the difference? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the y. Oh, that's a y. Okay. Yeah, that's a y. Sorry. Y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The basic slope formula. Okay. All right. Or the calculus way of writing the slope formula is F. Huh? So this one, yeah, F of X minus F of C over. Right? Okay, slope all the time. We got this. You can do it. It's all up to you. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. I'm good. All right. So. Hey, donkey shake. Stop it. All right. So. So 12 minus 3 over. 2 minus 1. Which would get what? 9 over 1, which is? 9. My slope is? Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, guten tag math. Okay. Nine. Yes. Nine. Yes, nine and nine. Oof, <laughs> loop loose. All right. It's no. Huh? Nine. Like in German, nine is nine. Yeah. Nine and nine. Oof, loop loose. Oh, I love that. I didn't yeah, me too. All right. So anyway, so now on this one right here, so we found one to two and we got a slope of nine, right? And we're trying to find it at two. So let's try it again. But this time, I'm going to do it from the other side of 2. So I'm going to go here to here. So if I'm doing it from there to there, what am I going to write? 3 minus Try again. 33 minus 12 over trace minus dose. Trace minus dose? Is that what you get? Whatever that is. <laughs> All right, so. All right, what do we come up with? Hey, 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 I know that phone ain't out. Every time you turn your screen on, you know it lights up your face, right? <laughs> Listen, you, you and your Numa Numa, I don't want to hear it right now, okay? How are you? Oh, yes. Okay, all right. Okay, hey, 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 pay attention up here. Pay attention up here. Okay, so now 33 minus 12 gives me what? 21. Okay, so we get 21 over 1, right? <laughs> yes. That's why we can't have nice things, Pacho. You're right. <laughs> why do you think it's all taped up already? Yeah, I broke it a couple times. Anyway, all right, so we get 21. So, uh, you know what? That's a big difference in between the left and the right, isn't it? Yeah. 
So, you know what? We're going to do a secant line that's going to encompass both. But now this time we're going to go from the left of it to the right of it and hopefully we're going to get it somewhere in the middle. Okay, so we're going to do a secant line from both those pieces. So the secant line is going to be the average slope in between 3 to 2, right? Or I'm sorry, 3 to 1. So I would do what? So I start off with 33 minus 3 over 3 minus 1, which gives me 30 over, which is 15. So my slope of my secant line, remember secant touches my line at two points. The tangent touches my line only at one point. But to estimate or average the slope in between those, I would use a secant line. So that's in between two points on this line, and then we're going to average that out. Are we okay? Yeah. Are we, are we making sense here? Questions, concerns, complaints? Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a box right behind you. There's a there's a whole set of colored pencils in there. Okay, and there's a little lighter too. Are we okay here now? So this is actually our last slide for these right here. So I'm going to use the rest of this time, and you guys can work on your homework and get that done. Okay. All right. So don't forget like and subscribe. Hit that alert button.